Mars had been a colony for a long time, and it was filled with the best scientists and technologists humanity had to offer. We were ready to govern ourselves and start a new nation of our own, but everything we built or mined or made was still the property of old Mother Earth. I was a fusion drive engineer. My wife, Katie, wanted to start having babies, like all good Martians do, but I convinced her that we should buy a second-hand yacht for me to tinker around with instead. She liked to indulge me. I'd been modifying the engine to boost fuel efficiency. I wasn't expecting much, maybe 4% better tops, and I was taking it out for a test run. Commence pre-flight check. Commence pre-flight check. The voice interface had been problematic from the start. The original owner was Chinese, so I turned the damn thing off. The rest, I guess, is history. Okay. Let's see what you can do. Solomon Epstein, <laughs> and I changed everything. My drive was working better, way better than I ever expected. Fuel efficiency was through the roof, a hundred times better than anyone had even thought possible. A once in a generation breakthrough. And that was the whole problem. See, a high G burn hurts like hell. I felt like someone was standing on my chest. It was getting harder for me to breathe or talk. <laughs> Shut down. Me. Drive. Not that talking would have made any difference. The acceleration was making my body so damn heavy it was getting hard to even move. wasn't the worst part because the most dangerous thing about being in a high G burn is that if it goes on too long it'll kill you at the rate my drive was burning my fuel was gonna last for weeks which I have to say was amazing aside from the fact that I'd be dead long before then The only thing I could do was try to signal for help. Even though I couldn't talk, Katie would realize that I was in trouble. She, she'd figure out a way to help me. It was my only hope. My last chance. Sooner or later, it happens to us all. Me, you, everyone we love. Maybe you see it coming, maybe it surprises you, but in a sustained high G burn, what usually kills you is a stroke. And lying there on my deathbed, all I could think about was, what happens next? I'd never give Katie a child, but she had the plans for my drive. 
they'd make her rich for the rest of her life. Because with my drive, the Epstein drive, Mars would be able to move outward. Mine the asteroids, colonize the belt, and remake the solar system. My drive would give us the edge we needed to finally break free from Earth and build a new world for ourselves. That's the wonderful and terrible thing about technology. It changes everything.